Hello everyone and welcome to my Newts TBR. The Newts is coming up in August, which is a readathon held by G from Book Roast. I will leave a link to her channel down below if you are interested in a Harry Potter read along. This is the second kind of readathon within her series, kinda. Like first we had the Owls, which I completed, and now we have the newts so i'm super excited for that and let's just get started <laughs> so the subjects i completed in my owls were charms defense against the dark arts herbology and potions so th those are the four that i will be attempting to complete challenges within so at least two of them fully and then level level one from the other two, at least that much, but I have a book for every prompt within those four subjects. So let's just get started with charms and the first prompt is to read a book with magic in it. So I decided to continue on with the ReZero series or yeah, it's a series and here I have the second book in the series. If I haven't read it by then, I will be reading this one. If I have read this, I will read the third one and so forth. But this will be my main pick as it does involve magic. So the second prompt for charms is to read a book with a cover that charmed you. And for this, I will be reading an enchantment of ravens. The cover is just stunning and I really 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 want to buy it so badly but they only have it in hardcover and hardcover is more expensive. So the third and final prompt for charms is to read a book that you think will leave a mark. So I decided to go with Vicious by B.E. Swab. I just think that this villain story is going to be amazing and I have heard amazing things about Victoria Schwab's adult novels and I look forward to reading this so badly as Vengeful is coming out later this year and it just sounds like a really hard-hitting book. So on to Defense Against the Dark Arts where the first prompt is to read a last book in a series so I decided to go with Obsidio by Jake Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Um, I am currently reading Gemina and Obsidio is the last book. So I will be ordering that one as soon as possible. And I will be reading it as it's the only last book in a series I can think of that I can read without reading the entire series before August. So the second prompt for Defense Against the Dark Arts is to read a foil book and I went with King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. I had to look up what foiled meant and I think I got it right by just like the shininess of the letters is considered foiled. I'm not 100% sure but I think this is this counts as a photo book so I will be reading this. So the third and final prompt for Defense Against the Dark Arts is to read a book with the word dark in the title which I am going with The Darkest Minds. I honestly don't know what this series is about but it has the word dark in it so it fulfills the prompt and Hopefully I will get to it. Okay, so on to Herbology. The first prompt in Herbology is to read a book with a green cover. And I went with Haunted by Megan Spooner. Cover of this book, it's just stunning. And I found the audiobook for it, so I will be listening to it whilst I like get in the mood, just like the dark and serious kind of read. That's what I'm expecting the book to be like. but. I think it's a retelling of 
Red Riding Hood, but I'm not completely sure. The cover kind of suggests it, but with instead of the red uh, cape kind of thing, she has a green one. It's giving off those vibes of like a dark story. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So the second prompt for Herbology is to read a book with illustrations and I picked this book up without even knowing that it had illustrations. I don't know how I missed it, but I was just excited to see a book by this author in a thrift store. Um, and the cover is just stunning, so I had to get it. And then as I was looking through my shelves, I realized that it actually has illustrations in it. And I was super surprised that I actually had a book with illustrations. Illustrations. But yeah, enough talking about it. The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. Um, it actually says illustrations by Ben McSweeney. Sweeney? I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. If I remember correctly, this is about a kind of school where people start dying and they have to like kind of figure out who's killing people and stuff. So third prompt for Herbology is to read a book with either light, air, sun or water in the title. So I went with The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I have heard great things about this book so I will be listening to it on audiobook on script um, it has the word sun in it so it fits the prompt and I'm excited to see what I think of it so for the last subject which is potions the first prompt is to read a book with the name of a color in the title for this I am going with a short read as I felt like I needed a shorter book to read so I'm going with Black Beauty. I've heard that this is a story from the horse's point of view, I believe. I'm not completely sure if it's the same book. It has the word black in the title, so I will be reading it. So for the second prompt in Potions, it is to read a book with a male lead character. So I am going with Steel Heart by Brandon Sanderson as this follows David, I believe, and it's about superheroes, kind of, and it sounds really cool, and I've heard just great things about Brandon Sanderson, so I kind of want to pick up all of his works, but I'm picking up his standalones right now just to feel out his vibe kind of thing. So the last prompt, which is also the last book, is to read a book with over 350 pages and I'm going with Emma by Jane Austen as this has about 380 pages. I have said that I'm gonna read this for forever and I just need to get to this. I feel like I would like this book so I just need to set my mind to it to actually read it. So that was it for my new TBR. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested, go check out G's channel and I will hopefully come back with a nudes wrap up where I actually completed the nudes. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new and I hope you have a good day. Bye!